Hello everyone, I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Jason. And Jason, what are we playing today, kid? We're playing My Morphin Power and she's the Fighting Edition. The Fighting Edition. This is the Megazord Fighter on the Super Nintendo. Jason and I have sampled the Power Rangers fighting game on the Genesis that was uh, that was Rangers and the Megazord and some monsters. Uh, this is a, I think, far superior game. And I feel like I did something on this once, maybe with Vince quite a while back, but Vince and I, or, but Jason and I haven't done a Geeky Fight Club on this yet, so we thought we would go ahead and play this. And this is one of Jason's favorite fighting games. Yeah. What is your favorite Megazord on this? Um, I... It's the regular one. Oh, just the the Thunder Megazord? Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Well, we'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, Jason and I are uh, probably doing this one today uh, because we're in kind of a Power Rangers mood. Uh, Jason and I are going to Power Morphicon here in just a couple uh, weeks on the weekend of August 12th. And we are really excited about that. So, in honor of our trip, we're going to go see Curious Low in California. We've been talking this trip up forever. We're going to do some videos and stuff. For you guys while we're there. So now of that, today we are playing uh, one of my very favorite fighting games, and I gotta play as Lord Zed. Uh, is that is, your favorite? It's my favorite. It's my favorite character out of all Power Rangers. I am, mm -hmm. one of the reasons I love this game is just because you get to be Lord Zed. Uh, I also really like the beat-em-up on the Super Nintendo. Uh, we're really both of them, and we'll have to do that at some point, Jason. Oh wow, you got first blood, well done. Uh, I like, I like the one based on first season, and I like the uh, movie one as well. They're both gonna be good. Well, come on, kid, you're off to a good start. Jason's the Mega Tiger Zord. Oh, good job. Well done. Uh, I love, I love the look of this game. Oh, come on. Why did you do that? Uh, because I wanted to beat you. Because I wanted to win. That's kind of the idea, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should get more level this, this time. More level? What does that mean? You want some more level? Yeah. Okay. I, okay. They, you can pick a level and go boom, 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 boom. Oh, I see. Okay, you just want... Your level wasn't high enough? Mm. Is that the problem? Is that... Or are you just making excuses for why you're losing right now? Yeah. Is that <laughs> uh, this place is kind of neat. This is... It, when I first played this, I thought it was the command center. But it looks like it's actually supposed to be maybe where the Zords are uh, are, are held. Kind of, the, kind of the garage of the command center, if you will. I'll play as the sluggish but ultra-powerful... Shogun Megazoid. Level of bright colors in this game, uh, and and the sheer energy of it. Is Ninja Megazoid in here? Yeah, it sure is. Whoa, you're bigger than me. Yeah, Shogun is huge. And that is... That was true of the toys, too, and of course, Power Rangers is just a toy commercial, and the scale is often pretty similar. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Looking at the uh, Zords oh, and, and different machines and things uh, from the show. Yeah. Comparing them in the show and then comparing them in real life, uh, the, the toys in real life. We all recognize that Power Rangers is fictional. But, uh, yeah, the Shogun Megazord is huge, and the Ninja Megazord is fairly small in comparison to the Thunder or the Dino Megazord. So, Dino? like I said, the... Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's right. not in this, but, of course, that's the original Megazord. I don't think that's in it. Uh, but, yeah, so the Shogun Megazord, as I said, is super sluggish, but uh, it packs quite a wallop. It's not the most fun to play with, but it is hard to win against. You beat me one last time, I'll put you to death. <laughs> oh, good job. Yeah, he's gonna kill me to death! Uh, this was a really neat time for Power Rangers. It was cool that, that this came out when it did, when we had as many Megazords as we did. 
and uh, this is my favorite period of this show. Uh, this would have had to have been during third season. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get you with my sword as fast, as good as I can. I, I guess my main complaint about this game is the same as I have with a lot of these, and of course I try to have as much historical perspective as I can, but it would have been nice to have maybe a couple more characters. Uh, it would be cool to have both Goldar and Zed, maybe a couple more monsters would have been nice. Wow, jeez kid. I'm gonna have to start actually playing here. There we go, I got you. Why didn't they put the eye on You almost got me, kid. Uh, yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah, you go back to some more first season stuff. Um, yeah, that would have been good. Uh, you know, this guy, I'll, I'll play as this guy. I had an action figure of him at oh, one point. That's cool. But yeah, we've got the lip sync monster, and we've got... Is that uh, the ninja one, or is that the show guy? That, no, that is ninja man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot that, I, that it was short. I yeah, it's kind of unusual. A lot of games, it's it's A, but here it's starred. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whoa! Silverhorns. That's that's what his name is. Of course, he, he's he's gigantic. Uh, when you play with uh, two Megazords, you always end up in that part of the command center with the Zordon constantly yapping at you on a screen in the background. Well, but same as Zed. What's that? If, if someone plays as Zed too, it's the. It goes there. Mm -hmm. Not always though. If you play a Zed versus... What do you mean, anytime Zed plays a, against a Megazord? Does he not have his own stage? I don't think Pretty sure so. he has his own stage. Uh, we'll bring Ivan Uzen here in a second, too. There's a... There's a very simple code that allows you to, to uh, play as Ivan Uzen. I'm glad that's in here. Uh, he's the final boss for this. Um, and that was kind of a treat at the time because, yeah, uh, because the movie was so popular. These fights are real fast. Should, should we go to I'm in the News? Yeah, do you want to do them? Yeah. Okay, it's X plus Y, what did we say, plus start. start? Okay, so just put put your two fingers there and then press start and do it simultaneously. See that brings them in. Go ahead. Okay, I've done it. Why don't you pick something else? I, that might... Okay, oh. so I'm Ivan Ooze, and you're the Ninja Megazord. It doesn't give him a spot uh, on the select screen. Oh, and you, you have a purple Megazord now. That's kind of funny. That's wonderfully appropriate. Uh, so Ivan Ooze is insanely overpowered and about impossible. But he's obnoxious uh, when you play him in the story mode. He's flying. He's flying. Yeah. He's flying. He seems way more powerful and way more menacing here than he did in that movie. Uh, if he could do all this in that movie, you'd wonder why he needed his his what? Uh, what do you say? Exomorphicon robots, big exoskeleton uh, uh, Zord things. Of course, the fact that he's got his mind control power is kind of, you know, with the zoo is kind of begs the question as to why he needs those in the first place. But we just have to. Power Rangers asks us to suspend our disbelief and believe. Oh, good job with your block in there, and believe that uh, giant robots are more powerful than anything else, no matter what. I gotta say, Ivan Ooze is not as much fun to play with. Why? And, well, just because... Well, he wins a lot. Yeah. But he just throws energy balls. That's what he does. He floats across the screen and he throws energy balls. Well, he can go up, There's, too. No, well, that's true. And but that's helpful. you don't get into the fun rhythm of choreography. By the way, good job. You got me there. I wanted there to be a round three. Yeah. I don't know, if I use the same move over and over again, I could probably beat you really quick, but that's just boring. <laughs> Whoa! 
Why, why didn't they put mind control in here? Of Iron Man? Uh, because that would be awkward in a fighting game. If your ability was to grab another character and tell him what he can do, then you just wouldn't be able to play at all. I guess you could, that could be like a, a few second move. I don't know that I've ever seen that in a fighting game. I bet there's a fighting game that I'm not thinking of that does that. Okay, I'll be Goldar. Okay, and I'll be... Let's see. I'm not sure Is what... Put... You know what? I was going to say, I bet what... Who are you going to play as? Um, I, I was going to play as... Uh... Alright, go ahead. I bet what made you turn the other, uh, the other color spectrum there, mm -hmm. that that other, that other color set was the fact that we were both on that Megazord at the same time, even though I was, I was picking Ivan was. Oh. So the start select, so the select menu thought we were both playing as the same character, because we did that little cheat. Goldar at the airport. So everyone's giant in this game because you never play as the Rangers themselves. When I was a kid, this just felt appropriate what? because, you know, the, the Zord fights were always kind of more of the cool part, and, you know, when I was a kid, I was, I guess, a little bit more invested in the character stuff, but when you go back to early Power Rangers, it's really just this stuff that was that was the most fun, and, uh, I mean, not to, not to knock uh, Rangers in suits, I mean, that, that's a fun thing to put in your fighting game, too, but, uh... It's, it's kind of a neat idea to just have the the giant Megazord fights. What are you going to say, Jason? It's, it's weird that they didn't put giant Green Ranger in there because there was a <laughs> part where, we, that's a thing. where he does be giant. Well, once again, do you mean where he is giant? Yeah, where yeah. he is giant. They're, keep in mind, though, that uh, this is all later Mighty Morphin. So, you, you know, you're not you're not seeing the... you got the, you got the White Tiger Zord. Uh, but you don't have the Dragon Sword. Yeah. So we're not doing Green Ranger at all in this game. But it would have been really cool to see a sequel where we mixed more things in, especially, uh, you know, after a couple more shells. It'd be cool if, like, by space, you put in, you had maybe, like, a 20 character select with Rangers from different series. Or even if you, if you made the whole thing Megazord. Uh, we just had monsters and Megazords from other shells. But in Here, I'll be ninja this time. But in season one, Good. and um, but in um episode one of season two, um, there was the um the other Megazord, the original one. Yeah, but they don't even have this in this because or that in this because it kind of feels like they're just trying to period accurate right then. So the Ninja Megazord is the most agile of them. It's the one that fights most like a person, really. Yeah, because, uh, because it's kinetic, Ninja. Really kinetic game. Fights like a Ninja. It'd be really cool to get uh, a, a Power Ranger Fighter now. You know, we had that... I think 20th anniversary game. Or was it a 15th anniversary game? Um, that let's see, was it was it 2009? Yeah, uh, that brought in or that that was a. Uh, I never played it, but it was a. <laughs> ah, I got you. But it was a uh, beat 'em up, and it was various eras. Apparently, that game. And, and it brought in uh, various uh, rangers and you know, ranger suits and colors. It'd be cool to see that done with a fighting game, but with actual characters and not just kind of generic ranger costumes without the characters to go along with them. You want to play one more? Mm-hmm. All right. This, what do we this say again? Time, this time, can I beat um, Ivan News? Yeah, I, if you can make it happen. You want to do it? Uh, yeah. Okay, why, why is he like this, and then start, and just do it simultaneously. Okay. No, 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 look, look, just put your finger there, here I'll do it for me. And now you'll be Ivan News, there you go. Very cool! Yeah. Cool. I was deceptive the first time I did it, because I was like, oh, it didn't make him Ivan News. Yeah, see, this is Zed's place. 
This is it. Yeah. That's cool. So see, this is like Ivan who's coming in and trying to steal Zed's domain as he does in the movie. And I have teleported. It was a little surreal seeing these characters move like this after watching them in big cl clunky costumes in the TV show. And I remember thinking, look at all these, just like with Ivan News, you know, I remember thinking all these cool things that this guy's able to do, you know, Lord Zed, in this game. I don't know why he has such a hard time fighting the Rangers, or why he doesn't just go down and do it himself. You know, the, the guy can teleport, and he's, he's again, pretty agile. <laughs> if I had my druthers to cosplay anything, it'd be Lord Zed. Oh, oh my goodness, yeah. oh my goodness, oh my goodness! And Jason is starting to figure out what just what you can do with Ionu is, <laughs> is super overpowered. <laughs> like how we got Serpentera in there somewhere. It'd be hard to play as Serpentera since it's a giant spaceship. Oh, you're going down, Ivanews. Um, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Alright. It's a tie right now. It's a tie right now. But now that you've yeah. figured out what Ivanews should do, there's really no reason you should lose. Oh. Okay, this is this just got this just got hard. Oh, uh, now half my life is gone. <laughs> Going down, I mean, it's literally, I'm gonna take you down. I'm gonna bring you. And I'm dead. Hey, do you need some WD 40? <laughs> well, folks, that's gonna conclude today's Geeky Fight Club. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, I guess there's only one character we didn't play as. We didn't We didn't get the lip syncer in there. Should we do one more and get her in there? Yeah. Just so that everybody can see um, all the different characters. We've we got our one female character in this, and we didn't play as her. Uh, it was kind of a cool choice, I suppose. And then have Gold or Gold Good. Or yeah, okay. We'll and do that then he can try to get yeah. You know, you don't have to create like a compelling story behind it. We'll, we'll just fight here. Psycho. She's got a giant Let's stick go. head. I always thought it would be cool. Okay, so I said that this concludes Geeky Fight Club. We've not concluded. We're gonna play some more. Uh, I, I always, I just played this game. Was reminded of Rampage and really wanted to be able to interact with the backgrounds and stomp on people and buildings and stuff. That would be another thing that would be cool to see. It would be really interesting to see Jason if the movie next year has a video game tie-in. Surely it will. It's hard to imagine you'd make a big budget Power Ranger game and there wasn't a video game with it. But a lot of things haven't had tie-ins lately. Okay, I keep trying to hit you and I'm accidentally jumping higher. Her special move is she jumps higher. She's got this double jump I can't stop doing. Oh, you're going down, Lip Singer. And see, Goldar has his wings because this is post said. Did he have his wings in that Genesis game we played? I don't remember. I don't either. But he's in that game, isn't he? Yeah, he's yeah. in that game. But it occurs to me that he shouldn't have his wings there. Yeah. Anyway, thanks again for watching, folks. We sure appreciate it. We'll see you again next time. Next week, we'll do a platforming hour. Next Don't know what we'll play yet. We're talking about maybe some Little Big Planet 3. That might be the next one. But in the meantime, we'll see you next time. I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Chase. And thanks again for watching. <laughs>